Hey everyone, this is Crystal with VintageBoothPro.com. Over the weekend, I decided to stop into the Lakewood 400 Antiques Market, which is located in Cumming, Georgia. So Lakewood has a very long history. They were originally located in Atlanta and in the past 20 years have moved to Cumming, Georgia. So in this new location, they are in a 75,000 square foot building with hundreds and hundreds of indoor vendors and a lot of outdoor vendors as well. It takes place the third weekend of every month Currently, they are moving that in 2024 to the first full weekend of every month. So it is free to get into Lakewood, but parking is $3 per person, which if you go on their website, you can get a dollar coupon and the, that cost to get in for parking lasts the whole weekend. And that is what people do. They come in town for the weekend. There are tons of hotels nearby, but there's also on-site camping. So that's kind of a unique thing. If you want to come and camp, that is just um, such a fun little weekend. And if you ever do come visit, be sure to stop by Angry Mama's, which is where my booth is currently located. It's about a mile away from Lakewood. So I decided to stop by to look for display ideas as always and look for just new ideas for smalls because as we know, smalls make rent. And I talked to several vendors and one thing I didn't realize about Lakewood is that there's no mandatory breakdown between shows. So if you have a permanent booth, um, you can leave your merchandise there. Um, some of the vendors that I spoke to also set up at Scott's Antique Market, and some of them also have permanent booth in a in your typical um, antique mall. So I went on a Sunday afternoon and let me tell you, these dealers were making some deals. Um, they had been working hard all weekend and ready to go home, I'm sure. I did want to spotlight that there is a really nice restaurant and popcorn and snack bar uh, for you to take a break because you're going to need to sit down and take a break. This place is huge. Lakewood is known to many interior decorators and designers because they just have so much furniture and, and many unique pieces. You'll also find a ton of local artists in this booth. The artist was creating these beautiful signs, so I try not to disturb them too much, um, but I really love this booth. Okay, check this out. Somebody made a stack of books into a lamp. Thought that was super cool. So I forgot to mention that I mentally spent around $5,000 and this blue piece, I would take it home today if I could.
This one had me laughing out loud with this patient left on a vintage rolling gurney. So I believe this was Retro Ron section, who if you are looking for true unique vintage pieces like this one, he is the man you want to see. This one had me laughing to tell Rudder from something that flew once. And then it says, someone tell Ben. <laughs> one thing you'll notice is there's no walking into these booths. They are filled to the absolute brim. And I assume that's done because the dealers are there and they would prefer you talk to them so they can um, make you a deal, do some upselling and that sort of thing. And they can put as much stuff in their booth as they possibly can. So I love the display here of the rolling pins and it looks like they're in a metal planter. So I love the contrast of that. That peacock was $29 and it almost came home with me. Thought this was a great idea to keep people off your chair. No parking, test drive only. That's pretty funny. interesting connection between Lakewood and the movie Deliverance. So you'll have to go to their website to find out the full story, but thought these guys were pretty funny. And uh, this MCM cat, I had to take him home. She gave me a great deal at $10. idea for smalls these prints were five dollars each and they had a ton to choose from now this booth is the place for smalls they have so many ideas not just the doll parts and the baby booties take a look at the next few pictures and just there are so many different things that it's really hard to kind of tell what they all are there's little acorns there's vintage bobbins, there's vintage photos, which all they did was write in pencil on the back. The price, some they looks like they were priced from two to five dollars. Um, buttons, marbles, more vintage pictures, um, salt and pepper shakers, comic books, and they were just stacked full. They have journals, um, keychains, keys. And finally, some camera parts and probably even more that I missed. But that, that was the booth for Smalls. There's so much I love about this display, the salt and pepper shakers. And I love the bottle brushes in the silver and pewter cups. And here again, another idea for smalls are those clock faces. How unique is that?
So creepy warning, there are some unique dolls coming up. Just be on the lookout. a really cool display of vintage pilot and flight attendant outfits but you have to look up to see it Okay, time to wrap it up and head home. I came in saying I wasn't going to spend any money, but I did end up finding a few things. One person had the hugest collection of frogs, and my son's teacher is obsessed with frogs, so I picked up a few for her for her holiday gifts and found that MCM cat. And, oh, you know, there was someone giving me taste tests on their jams and jellies, so I had to stock up on those as well. Um, overall, it was such a fun trip, and I would love to know if you are going to plan a trip to Lakewood anytime soon or if you've been there or if you're a vendor there even. I would love to know. Um, thanks so much for watching. I'm trying to get better at shop with me videos. It's really nerve wracking because I always feel like everyone's watching me when, you know, people really aren't. They're just paying attention to themselves and don't really care what other people are doing. But um, if you like this type of content, let me know. I do have a few other videos in a playlist that I will link here. And mostly I love finding beautiful booth displays so I can share ideas with you in my group on Facebook. If you're not part of my Facebook group, be sure to jump over now and join. It's a free group. I post daily what's sold and vendors from around the world are sharing their beautiful booths. So join today.